What's up? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Willie Legenier coming to you live from the New York Power Couple. What's up? Good morning, everyone. I hope that on this day, if you're on the East Coast, if you're bombarded or you got a, a dusting of snow, that you're out there making your way safely to work wherever your destination is. And uh, I hope that what I share with you today jumpstarts your morning as it does mine. Once again, I am working from the works of Ayanla Vanzant, The Acts of Faith, and here we go for day 35. May I assume whatever form I want in whatever space my spirit wishes to be. This is from the book of Coming Forth by Day, translated by Dr. Malanga, the late Dr. Malanga Karanga. This is the um, author and creator of the uh, Nguza Sava, which is the Kwanzaa, Seven Days of Kwanzaa. He's had several books. He's a great uh, uh, historian and so on and so forth. So if you haven't read his works, you need to tap, tap into those as well. Anyway, it says the ancients knew <clears throat> the connection between man and the divine. They knew that the buried beneath the personality, perceptions, and self-imposed limitations, there lies the spirit of unlimited possibility. They knew that you choose with your thoughts the shape and form of your life. You create with your words the conditions you will face. You limit with your fear the coming forth of your desires. You destroy with your blame the direction of your destiny. The ancient ones knew that only with diligent maintenance and of the mind and emotion would man master his fate. Man or woman for that matter. Uh, because the blood of the ancient ones run through our veins. You have the same knowledge. You have the ability to be what you want in the place you may choose. Simply follow I'm sorry, simply, yes, yeah, simply follow the divine prescription for unfretted success. Begin within. I am the beginning and my end. Wow. That's powerful. Uh, there's a, another book that I read, uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which um, is written by Mr. Covey, Stephen Kof, Stephen or Stephen Covey, and he talks about <clears throat> the end in mind. And after reading this passage, my mind jumped right there. And I think if we start learning to function in that capacity, whereby we don't just do things with expectations, we don't just do things blindly, but we plan things out, we, 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 we become goal-orientated, then we can operate in the spirit of what this speaks of, or in plain langu language, with the end in mind. You know, you know you're going to get to work. You know you're going to pull in a 9 or 12 hour day. How about we creating the outcome before we walk out of the door? How about we say to ourselves, no matter what's going on, no matter who that supervisor may be or not be, I'm going to be my best self and get the work done because I'm not here for him or her. I'm here, like in my case, I'm an educator. I could care less what my principal wants or 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 or, or, say, or our attitude or the assistant principal or so on. I'm always walking through that door for the students. I am there for them. It is my willingness to be there for them that gets me through the day, that excites me, that wakes me up, that helps me know that no matter what comes through that door in the way that they're, uh, they're, they're experiencing life. Because a lot of time our young people, unfortunately, are going through a lot. And they bring it with them, as, as is the, the nature of being a human being. Uh, you can't handle the fox in the forest, so when you get inside the den, you start carrying on, okay? So, um, that's it. Hey, uh, Cassie, I've been calling you. What's up, girl? Call me back. 
Anyway, um, that's all I have for you today. Do catch the replay. And if you want to catch my previous 34 days, please do a hashtag, Our Mindset, or hashtag, The New York Power Couple, or hashtag, Ask Willie and Daria. I'm signing off. I bid you all good morning and be well.